Welcome back to another video. Happy New Year's Eve. It is New Year's Eve 2022. Today we're going to take you guys on a wonderful adventure. We're going to go do some off-roading, hitting the Knick Glacier slash Jim Creek out there in Palmer slash Butte. So come along, enjoy the trip. It's been about almost two, three months since I did my last off-road. Just been busy with the rig, busy with the family. But today I found some time off to go adventure with friends and people in this community. So let's go and have some fun and we'll see how far we make it. Um, the recent snowfall, three to four foot of snow, has made this year this year's travel really hard because uh, usually this Connect Glacier Run is a really easy trail, but when there's a lot of snow, it does become a challenge. So let's go and see how it is. <music> area Jim Creek current time for the records 11 a.m. New Year's Eve there's lots and lots of folks out here from uh, side by side user ATVs and just regular trucks and SUVs so it should be pretty fun 11.05 for the record we're heading into the trail <coughs> this is a really uh, big group that's been split up some bigger rigs they went ahead because they didn't want to wait for the stock rigs so I'm more with the uh, mid bill slash stock rigs and we're just gonna go out and have a good time if we don't make it to the glaciers it's all good because it's not about the destination it's about the process the journey so trail looks pretty good right now it's all nice and solid pack we do got one rig that's pretty low one jeep and one tacoma that that's semi low but i think they're all gonna be fine plenty of horsepower oh plenty of horsepower to pull each other off all right guys snow is pretty thick out here it is deep and if you don't stay on the tracks it's gonna get very holy smoke lots of snow this year not an easy run this year for sure momentum and speed is your friend little first crossing last New Year's uh, a little stuck Tacoma got stuck right around this area and we'll be a little late night rescue but uh, this year it's been really easy it's just like a little two inch split oh Bronco's having some issue he's probably not in four wheel drive yet that's a really easy crossing so nobody should get stuck right there as long as you have four wheel drive even with low clearance so perfect. A couple Jeeps, a couple Toyotas, and a Bronco. And a beautiful day today, not too cold and not too warm.
This Jeep right here is probably the uh, lowest clearance out of the group. And this green Jeep here has a really nice color. Always looked like my old green Toyota look. Nice. Uh oh. It's probably not a four wheel drive. Hello. No issues for this forerunner here. All right, we made it to Wolf Point right here. Lots of other rigs out here as well. Multiple rigs, New Year's Eve. Good time for inspection. How's your truck doing? We just came up to this other group right here. They may be turning back, they may be going up more, but we're trying to encourage them to go up because we passed the halfway mark already. Another five more miles and we'll be at the glaciers. That's Jen Taco with the rooftop tent making it. Beautiful day out here at the Connect Glacier. Temperature is pretty warm. 30 degrees, 20 degrees. So if anyone has a long travel vehicle, man, this is the place for long travel. Uh, this place here is like, it's very, it's very desert -y. It's like a desert flatland and it's very bumpy. So for solid axle trucks, it's not the best. It's so bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Uh, but it's even better if you have IFS out here, as long as you're lifted and whatever capable enough. But this is the place for long travel. If you want to just haul, haul some speed and just boom, 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 bump through the speed, speed bumps up here, this is the place for it, man.
12 18 p.m so we've been out here about an hour roughly about an hour and uh, we're almost at the glacier it's in sights right now about maybe two more miles so this run has been pretty fast nobody's been stuck super easy along you stay on the pack down snow travel trail so yep lots of fun easy for stock uh, stock vehicles and i really do but at this time just got to stay off the thick stuff or the deep stuff if you don't have the right vehicle for it but for the most part if you stay on the pack trail you're good 12.36 guys, we made it. I'd also say Lake is a big no right now. Oh yeah, it's crowded down there. There's no point of coming down there then. I'm gonna stay up here. Connect Glacier 2022, last ride for the year. Finally made it. Took us about an hour and a half only. A couple rigs down here already. Man, it is gorgeous. The lake does not look promising, so we are not going to go down there. This is all lake down there just to get to the glacier. So we're going to stay away from that. Don't want to end the year with a uh, rescue. More rigs from the other group is coming up right now. So we're going to get into some traffic jam. That's why I'm parked up here for now. Going to see where they're going. Glacier 2022. Oh, oh. It's a bit crowded down here, so we're just gonna go on foot. <coughs> and I'll show you guys a little bit how it is. Um, like I said, we got, there's our group that was like six rigs. And there's like another group with like another 10 plus rigs. And then there's another group right here that was already here. So it's traffic jam out here. This glacier doesn't look frozen too. The lake, there's the glacier and there's the glacier lake. So you gotta know the difference. Uh, I can't go down there. It's all covered in snow too, so you don't know if it's like completely frozen or not. Oh yeah? Yeah, he made Okay, let me check it out. There's a, the, the other groups up there. Yeah. Wow, I don't remember. I don't remember seeing this look at. We used to be further down over there, I think. This is what it looks like. Some of these guys might be staying longer. I usually bring a cold sandwich for these kind of trip. But the store was out of it, so I bought a salad. <coughs> I bought a salad, but there's no forks. I didn't bring any forks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it like this. So now I need to keep some utensil in my card. From now on. But other than that, guys, beautiful day out here. Beautiful day, couldn't ask for a better day. There is a New Year's event going on in downtown Anchorage <coughs> starting around 6, 7. They shoot fireworks at 8 p.m. So I think I'm going to try to make it back to town and show you guys that trip. <coughs> no fork, no problem. So coming up to 2023, I think in 2020, or I think for this winter alone, I'm probably not going to be doing any more off-roading this winter. So, January, February, and March, probably won't be doing any more off-roading. I have a lot of things going on with my family that we're going to be doing soon. So, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But as far as everything, this is more of my last trip for the year and the upcoming winter season. <clears throat> Salad tastes good when you eat it by hand. That's gonna conclude today's video. Not too much action, very easy trail to the Connect Glacier. Myself and the great Bronco Isaac, we're gonna head out of here because we have other business to tend in the city. He's heading up to Alyeska to go party. I'm going to downtown to go party. So <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time. I'll go ahead and slap on the time lapse of our way back. Current time is 1.09 p.m. And we should be back by the trail, uh, by back to the parking lot by maybe 2.30, hour and a half. And uh, we definitely want to, I at least want to get out of here before it gets dark, just for the safe of it. But catch you guys next year. Bye-bye.